All right, so Colin is about to break 200,000 subs. We're trying to catch it on film, but the internet here in Boca sucks. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh so close. Come on. So, just woke up and checked the old subscribe account, and we're at 199,996. So, four more, and we're at 200,000. What an incredible journey it's been. Uh, we just put out an episode, so should get a few subscribers out of that, so this should be ticking over in the next couple of hours, I think. Minutes. But man. Oh! <laughs> that was me. Is anyone here not subscribed? You subscribed? I've, yeah. I've subscribed twice. <laughs> this is such a crazy accomplishment. Oh, oh, oh cool. one more! With Hurricane Irma. Boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go, and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Holy shit, we just got three or four subscribers in the last two minutes. One more, I'm at 200,000. Oh, oh, never mind, went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it go up, did it go back up? It did, but then it went back down. No, but then I just subscribed again. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is back. Pretty happy. I'm very happy. This is a big moment. Oh, 201. Nice. It's been hard work. It's been a long time. It's been about four years now that we've been doing this. Putting your videos out every single week and to see that number just roll over then is, yeah, very, uh, very nice feeling. 200,003. So we got Dave and Mary here. Um, at 100,000 subscribers, they YouTube sends you a plaque. But because we've been in Panama and things are really difficult to get shipped here, I just got, got it sent to Dave's house. And then by the time I got it here on Parlay, we were already at about 140,000 subscribers. So I thought I'd save this moment till we reach 200,000 subscribers, which is right now and counting. Um, so let's have a look. I haven't opened this before yet. YouTube. 100,000 subscribers. The Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. There it is. Wow. This was inspected by Rick. Good job, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's the real one. Thanks, Rick. Look at that. Wow. Presented to Parlay Revival for passing 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for commenting. All of those things just help grow this channel. It goes into the little YouTube algorithm and pushes us out there and we've done it 200,000 subscribers I feel like that's a huge milestone for us and uh, just gonna keep going keep making better content and keep entertaining you guys could put it there this could be our daily reminder to uh, keep putting out good content you this is beautiful thank you YouTube everyone say cheese, cheese. all right Time to get this motorbike off the boat. We're gonna throw it in the dinghy. There's a dock over here, it's really low, so we'll just lift it up. Two people on each wheel. Shouldn't be too hard. That's my expectation. It's a little bit choppy though. We got this. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. That's good. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Perfect. Going for a ride. Here we go. Fire it up. Next to those boats there, there's a V level dock. One, two, three. Watch his hand.
and now it really gets stolen. That's the big question. <laughs> got a new crew coming. Yeah, we do. They have arrived. How's it going? What's going on? Just arrived. Super excited. Hi. How's it going? Hi. How's your plane ride? Good. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm Colleen. Yeah. Nice to meet you. New name? camera. Getting ready, getting uh, used to the settings. How's the image, people? Not bad. Great. Looks overexposed in the background. This guy looks a bit red. That's normal. Hang on. No, it's not. Um, it doesn't quite have. Doesn't give me the, the, the real the definition. Can't no. see the six pack in here. Or? It's usually, <laughs> usually bigger than that. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hey. Fuck, what's his name? Oh, this will be Dad. Yeah. So I think on that plane, right there, is our latest crew member. He's no ordinary crew member. He's the owner of Precision Sales, who is our sales sponsor. So he's been working so hard in the factory that he has had no time to go sailing. So he's been hitting me up, uh, asking if he could come down and hang out and do some sailing. And of course, we've got the regatta this weekend. So I said, sure, come have a race with us. So I'm about to go pick him up once he messages and uh, we'll introduce you to Daryl. What's going on, man? Hey, how are you? <laughs> you made it. Oh, freaking squall comes through just as you did it. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is so exciting. <laughs> Good to have you, Thank man. You. No worries. Wow. I'm excited. This is where we fly the big spinnaker out the front. Yeah. We've got a race next Sunday. I'm so I'm pumped for that. Morning, everybody. So, we are here in Bacchus and we've become friends with Courtney Parks. He's the owner of the Bacchus Marina, which is just actually over there. And um, he's actually a shaper. So, he makes surfboards. He's been shaping for decades. He's a surfer from way back in the day and uh, he's when he came to Bacchus there were no marinas so he built Cadenero Marina and also Bacchus Marina and he's actually like named a bunch of the surf spots around here so he's a bit of a legend but he is going to shape a Palais Revival surfboard so we're going to come in with a camera and just watch how the process starts so let's go say hi to Courtney. <coughs> morning Courtney. Morning. How you doing? Well, morning. Well, <laughs> it's pretty miserable, huh? Oh man, it rained a lot last night. So this is the new factory place, huh? Cool, no worries. Well, uh, hey, hey, how's it going? How are you? Welcome back. Cheers, man. How you doing? Yeah, all good. This is Mike's. Oh, this is Mike's yeah. weapon, huh? Yeah, thingy. Yeah, no. just thingy goes right there. But you had an interview. <laughs> This is where the magic happens, huh? Yeah. How many boards have you made? I'm pushing 23,000. 23,000? Shapes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I've been doing it forever, so. What are your boards? What's the company name? Tropics. How long have you been in Bacchus? 27 years. <laughs> when I was a kid, like in my teens, I built boards in my parents' garage, like everybody did in the old days. Yeah. And so I worked for Petrello Surfboards for four years. And then I, I bought a bunch of equipment from them and went out on my own. So and how does the process start? You get a blank? Yeah, these are the blanks. The short ones are all high performance blanks. Then you got fun boards. This is a long board. This is a fish blank. Different. You shaped all, these are all tropics? Yeah, these are all for sale. So I kind of marked a few measurements. This curve right here, okay, that's 12 and a half. So if that looks right, I'll, I'll finish drawing it. Yeah, man. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. 
you've been pretty good about wearing masks and stuff back in the day. Yeah. So you haven't breathed too much of this stuff in? No. But I remember in the early days, you know, I'd glass some boards too and I wouldn't wear a mask. And that's really worse. Yeah. But evidently I'm fine. <laughs> so I made it a long time. <laughs> Just a sponge. What, what how many grid is that? Probably 60. Worn out. 60 <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of concave. Double concave. Here and here. Good workout, huh? I figure I'd do two miles <laughs> every board. Yeah. So good, so good. So that's what you call a rough shape. But you know, I, I used to do about <clears throat> 1,500 to 2,000 boards a year. Now, like, I only want to do 50. <laughs> All right, I'll get you the logo and then um, we'll be back when it's ready to go or something. Yeah. Thanks so much, Courtney. We'll oh, see you uh, later on. Okay. That's so good. Talk about like anything particular. Yeah, man. Like, what what is the deal with this thing? Yeah, we bought it like uh, about a year ago. Uh, Actually, well, with this COVID thing, time flow by, so it's more like a, like two years now. Yeah. But we've been working on it for just a year, so. So what kind of boat is it? She's a Tris Ball 34. It's a French design from the 70s. It was like designed for one specific purpose. It was only to sail downwind and to cross the Atlantic fast. So she will do that very well, but it will struggle to go upwind. She was a full kill design, so. Internal ballast was pretty heavy. Boat too was like I think like something around eight to, to to ten tons. So you cut the keel off. Yeah, we cut the whole thing, not only the keel. So that's the fin keel. Yeah, this is going to be the new keel. It's going to be a fin keel with a, a big uh, a ball ballast uh, lead on the knit here. So you made that. Yep. From yep. scratch. Yep. Also, it's going to carry my batteries inside. It's going to be telecommunication batteries, the skinny ones. They're gonna be inside the keel too. Oh, really? Yeah. But you're gonna put lead in the bottom of that? Yeah, uh, the idea, till now, and this, this change every day, is <laughs> to put a wing, a wing, uh, like a lead wing in here. Oh, yeah. And we changed the, the, the deck too. We went to, to more like a flat deck and we also moved the mass a little bit forward. This is another idea that I have for a long time ago. It was to have a big dinghy on a small boat. Like, what do you do? You have, a, I have David, I don't like David. You cannot put it on the deck. So the idea is that it's gonna go on the cockpit. You built this thingy from scratch. Yeah. Wow. It's a sailing dinghy. It's a sailing dinghy. Yeah. Are oh, you gonna race this in the regatta? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, sweet. Oh, to try to stay away from the stainless steel touching to the to the aluminum and getting galvanic corrosion, we changed to we're gonna change to synthetic rigging, and then we're gonna do the lashing straight into the shame plate and straight into the dead eyes. So the dinghy, this is the, this is the, this is the plan. So the dinghy will come in here and it will rest in there on the cockpit and then the dinghy will become the cockpit when we are on the way. And so you'll, you'll sit in the dinghy to... Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, and then the same motor for the dinghy will be the same motor for the boat because the transom will be right here. So. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the idea. We'll see. Here is where the tillers are going to be. It's going to be a twin rudder double tiller <laughs> the rudders are already made they behind the dinghy you can take a look at it later and so what's the plan <laughs> yeah. with the boat once it's done uh i don't know sail around so we we should have been on the pacific by now but yeah on a roller boat but we're still here so i yeah. guess one day go to the pacific all right yeah oh for the rudders that's gonna be the head yeah it's gonna be I wanted to get it to don't have any true holes either, so the head is going to be composite. We cannot see it swinging all the way out, but basically that's, that's what the head is going to be. Really? It's a propane tank. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to have the option to 
to get the keel all the way through the deck and everything. Like if we need to do maintenance or something, we can just pull the whole thing out through the deck because it's a hatching you. Unless you put that wing on the bottom. Well, the wing is going to be able to, to come out too, so yeah. So where's the mask going? Uh, the mask is going to be right here. Yeah. So you put these little supports in? Yeah, uh, just to give it a little bit more support, also to, to, to hold yourself when you're getting out of the, the bee bird in here. Ah, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be one cabin with a couple of bunks back there or something? No, it's, it's only going to be a storage on the back. Uh, yeah, it's only for two people, so this, this is all we need, yeah. Right. And so how much of this is original? All of well, it? Well, it's only from, from like this weld here to, to here, so like maybe like four feet, five feet on each side. Right. We also change all the deck and everything. Yeah, that's, that's one of the ideas too, that what, I, what we put the deck, we make the, the deck flat and we put more windows too is to, because the tillers are going to come all the way here, is to be able to have like kind of a pilot house. So when the weather is bad, you don't have to get out of the ball. Like oh, we'd, yeah. be, we'd be like just standing right here. But you're going to need a three hole for the depth sounder or? No, we're not putting a depth sounder. You don't have a depth sounder? Nah, nah, we sell for a year like this without a depth sounder all around. So. Man, going, going old school, huh? Awesome, man. Thanks for showing us around. No problem, man. We'll see you at the regatta. See you. There you go, guys. So much creativity happening in one location courtney parks shaping those boards is an art man to get it all symmetrical like that you can just tell even like where he puts his planner it's just like hanging on a nail but he doesn't even look and he just like just throws it onto this nail every single time just it just tells you how many times he's done that and then mike um building the aluminium boat awesome i love it